Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial video covering the calculation reports in Compress. Today, I want to go over a few things like what type of reports we have, customizing the reports, setting up minimal reports, options like that. So let's get started. So we're going to use this heat exchanger for our demonstration vessel for the reporting video today. So, what can we do with our reports in Compress? Well, as I just mentioned, we can customize them, we can minimize them, we can do a couple things with them. But I want to show you some uh, tricks and some things to look for in the report. So first off, where can I get the information about our reports? Where are all these options contained? What we're going to start with is we're going to come up to our action menu, and we're going to come down to the reports section right here. And here are some of the options. So our PDF report settings, we can set the vessel name, we can give it general information. We can also provide engineering notes. Uh, I'll just click on this right here. And what this dialog will allow you to do is adding additional notes. So for example, let's say we're ordering uh, standard B165 flanges and there's information that you want to associate with them. Well, you can add this in as an engineering note and these notes will actually be presented to you in the report as well. All right, so I'm gonna come back up to the action menu back up to reports and then there's the reports default and I want to spend a little time talking about this so let me click on this and what this dialog does is it allows us to specify uh, minimal reports so you'll see up here component minimal reports are all of the different components so for example instead of detailing out all the calculations maybe you just like to see the governing case you know maybe you want to be able to print this off and send to a client things like that but what we can do is hide uh, the non-governing cases for you um, that way. And you can choose to select all of them just by selecting the select all button right here or turning them off or picking and choosing which ones you want. For example, a cylinder, maybe you just want to know the basic information so you can individually select the components. Okay, some of the op other options you have in here are the report options, um, you know, omit notes in the uh, table and the pressure summary, disable scripts in the HTML reports, things like that. Um, we also have user defined RT markings available for you um, as well. So if you want to put a user to find in, you can do that. And again, as always, you can set this up as a default so that every file you make can have minimal report set or not. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is I'm going to come back up to the action menu, come back to reports, and we're going to take a look at the cover page settings. So when you install our program, uh, we load in our information. So the company name is Codeware, our address, um, things like that. So you can change any of this information right here. You can also choose to display a vessel snapshot. It's very, very popular, very common with a lot of our clients. Or you can also choose to display a custom image. So for example, I have this set up right now to show our Codeware logo. But maybe I would like to see a vessel snapshot. So I'll just quickly select display vessel snapshot. And what Compress will do is take a picture of this and put it on the front page of the report. Now we also have user-defined text fields right here set up for you. Um, you can add any, you can change any of this information, you can add additional information, you can take it off, you can simply just uncheck them right here and they won't show up. Um, the other option you've got in here is also to add any tables you might have. Uh, we give you the option of programming some HTML code here in the bottom. So maybe you want to set up a summary table, things like that. You could actually do a little bit of coding and you could set that up. And again, you can save this as a default, which I highly encourage. So you come in, set up your company name, your address, and save that as a default so you're not changing it every time. All right, so let's click OK. So let's run the report. So what we'll do is we'll come up to our action menu and we'll select perform code calculations right here. Now, the deficiencies dialog may pop up. Now, one thing I want to note here is we have a couple warnings with this vessel. Now, you can choose to suppress these warning messages from the report. So if you clicked on this, you would hide them. So it would only be the deficiencies. But we're going to leave those unchecked. And we're just going to click Continue for the time being. OK, so this is our output report. And this is actually the HTML version of the report. Uh, we do also have PDF capabilities as well. But when you're initially reviewing the calculations, I always recommend you do it in an HTML report. Uh, I just find it's a lot easier to view the calculations. So in this report, what you're going to have are you're going to have summary reports right here. And then down below are going to be the detailed calculations for all of the individual components, and in this case, our tube sheet calculations. 
But a couple of reports that I want to highlight would be the deficiency summary. So right here. So as I said, we, we saw before, we do have some deficiencies for this vessel and we have some warnings. Now a question we commonly get is what are the difference between the two? A deficiency is going to be a code violation that will need to be addressed. So this is very, very important that we take a look at these. But our warnings are non-fatal warnings. They're really good engineering practice. Now we always recommend that you change them, you review them, things like that. But it's completely up to the designer um, and their discretion to uh, do what they wish with them. Now one thing um, we can do in this report is this is essentially our to-do list. So what we can do is instead of having to you know, read this, remember what we need to change and go back to the model, we can open up any of these reports in their individual windows. So for example, if I right click on this deficiency summary, I can select open a new window. And as you can see, it's now opened up into an internet browser window. Now if you're using multiple monitors, this is really key because what you can do is just drag this over to another monitor and switch back to the model and you can start going through this list and making any design changes you may need to. Okay, so a couple of summary reports. The pressure summary, so all the components that we've modeled are listed here. The design pressures, their temperatures, their calculated pressures, things like that. We also have a hydrostatic test here available for you and we will go ahead and calculate the stresses for you. Uh, there's an option to turn this off, but we always recommend you keep it on. Okay. Now I just want to touch on some of the heat exchanger uh, reporting because this is a really good way of uh, demonstrating the example I want to show you. So if I'm going to take the, uh, the ASME tube sheet report right here. Now as you can see, this scroll bar here on the right, very small. So this is an indication that this is going to be a very long report, which we have to do. It's necessary for our ASME calculations. But what if we want to quickly find a certain section in UHX rules? Well, if you click on our heading right here, you'll minimize the report. So as you can see, everything's been minimized into tables. So for example, the first set of calculations are for the operating condition. Great, I want to go check out step nine. I want to see if my tubes are overstressed. So what we can do is we can just scroll down, and here's step nine. I'll click on it to expand it, and as you can see here, here are all the formulas from step nine, and then down below, you're going to see all the calculations for the eight different load cases that we've run through. So this helps you backtrack, go through, you know, if something's overstressed, you can take a look at, you know, what's, what load case is overstressed and maybe start backtracking through that way. Okay. So let's say we're in this report and we do want to go back to the model. We want to make a change. What, how do we get back to the model? Well, since we're in the HTML report, what you would do is you would click on the HTML icon right here. And you would actually be able to come back to the model and make any changes. Now you can switch between the model and the report by clicking on this icon. But if you make any changes to the model, you just need to rerun the calculations. Okay, one of the last things I want to show you is how do we customize our reports? If you come up to the action menu, come down to reports, you can select customize PDF report right here. Now once this dialog comes up, you'll see all of the available reports for you on the left hand side. Now you can pick and choose which reports you want to have generated. So for example, I would like to see the cover page, I would like to see the deficiency summary, maybe the we're taking a look at the inlet nozzle and the front channel because that's maybe what's in question right now. So maybe we just want to have these four reports right here generated. So we'll just move them over and I'll click generate. And as you can see the PDF report has been generated with these four reports here for you. So if we need to save this, maybe we need to send it over to an engineer or a designer or you know, this is what we're, you know, you're doing some repair work, anything like that. You can customize those reports, which is very, very handy for you. Now, what I had shown you is, is the typical way of uh, we see things done. Let's say I want to switch back to the HTML version for a second. So I'll click on this. What are some of the other views that we have available to us in the reports? Well, if you come up to the window right here, we have what we call a split view. Now, right here, I have two reports report views. So for example, the top view, I want to take a look at the deficiency summary. And at the bottom, I'd like to actually come down and review one of the reports. So you can come down and review it this way as well. So this option is available to you.
I'd like to thank you for watching this quick tutorial video on the Compress reports. If you have any questions about Compress, or if you'd like to see a demonstration, please feel free to email sales at codeware.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.